Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm back with my normal setup. I have my mic right here. Hopefully it's not too echoey, but it might be a little bit, so I'm sorry in advance. But I'm so excited. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my little car sack. This is really random, but I cannot get enough of Clean Girl TikTok. I don't know about you, but like, I wish I had the money to just blow on clean girl stuff. I would love to say that I'm a clean girl, but I'm just not. Like, I'm very organized, very like hyper focused, hyper fixated from time to time on random things. But like, for the most part, it's like, what is it? Organized chaos in my house. So like, things will be clean sometimes. I don't want to get too much into it because I feel like I'm just going to have fuel to the fire for people to judge me. But yeah, I, I could be better at my cleanliness. So clean girl TikTok would be a little bit fraudy if I were to try to dip my toes too far into that. But a girl can dream. I'm really excited to show you aspects of me that can dive into the clean girl TikTok. And obviously I will not be showing you the aspects of me that cannot. So here's my little sack. One thing that I do want to note that I think is so special and maybe a little bit controversial is that this whole sack of goodies probably cost me like 30 bucks. I will say that there are things in here that I already owned. So this $30 price tag is coming from things that I purchased in order to create this. But the controversial aspect is that the reason it's so cheap is because it's from Shein. As you know, the girls who create the clean girl TikToks probably get all of their things from Amazon. Just to make me feel a little bit better about myself is that all the stuff that the girls get from clean girl TikTok from Amazon is from China anyway. So China, China. So we're gonna start off with the first tier. And as you can see, this is just a cute little pink mesh bag. I think this mesh bag was like $3, which I can assume would be far more expensive anywhere else. The quality feels pretty good. This little handle up here feels pretty nice. And then these little attachments here, these are actually called zipper pulls. Sounds obvious, but it's important when you're trying to look them up on Shein or Amazon. Knowing the exact word to use is important or else you will never come across them. Anyway, so I've tried to elevate this the best I can, but here's the first one. So I will not be able to exactly point out how much every single item cost in here that was from Shein, but I would say things like, for instance, like these bags, these came in a pack and I think for a pack of 10, it was like a dollar. And pretty much everything in here that I'm going to tell you I got from Shein is gonna be around the $2 range, one to $2. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna show you probably the most boring thing in here. And it is my little, oh, hold up, hold up. Hungarian Water Essence Calming Facial Moisturizer. So this little bad boy is expired AF. I think I've had this for like two to three years in my bathroom. My thought process on putting this in this bag is that I don't wanna necessarily buy new items to put in here because this is gonna be sitting in a car that is vulnerable to getting hot. And so I don't wanna put products in here that will either burst or get completely destroyed by sitting in the car. So I'm putting things in here that I either haven't used in a while or that if they get destroyed, it won't be that big of a deal. Next, I have this cute little electronic cleaner. So this is super nifty. This has multiple functions. So if you have AirPods, you probably have seen the little AirPod case cleaners and they have like this little spongy bit right here. So that can clean that, but obviously other things as well. And then on this side, it pushes up this little maneuver up here that is like a needle shape or a scoop as well. And you can kind of scoop in any crevices in your car that can get dirty or get things trapped in there. Particularly, I think of like my wheel. And then it has a little tooth, not toothbrush, just a little brush right here. And then of course on the other side, super cool, it comes with a little, well, I just broke it. <laughs> I don't know if I broke it, but there we go. So it comes with this little spritzer. And as you can see, it's just a small little sample size spritzer and I just put some IPA in here and it just slides in just like that. And then you can spray it. Can you see that? And then of course the velvet to clean or wipe any screens that you have in there. Super nifty, I love it. Next, I have this little glass nail file that came in a cute little case with a little loop if you wanted to use it as a keychain. It's like a pleather material, I believe. It's definitely not leather. For the price, I hope it's not leather, but it is really nice. And of course it's pink. Next, I've got this little pleather case that has tweezers in it. Next, I've got just a little pink shaver, face shaver. It has one long end and then one short end. Oh, you can see it right there. Next, I've got this little cuticle cleaner and I actually filled this myself. So I got this component off of Shein and then I filled it with my jojoba oil. You can just kind of see there's a brush and then on the other side right here, it's just a twist. Then I've got my little handy dandy SPF. I put a little sticker on the other side that says 30. 
This little component I also got off of Shein, and if you can see, it's just a little small little nozzle here. I wanted to just have some emergency sunscreen. It's mineral sunscreen in here since I'm super sensitive to anything else. You probably know that the first thing that gets sun in your car on your body is your hands. So I definitely want to have that handy in there. Next, I've got my literal favorite pens. These are the Pilot Acro Balls and a little tire pressure gauge thing, a Mophie power bank. And then one of my favorite things in this entire thing is this little foundation compact. And I did put my own little label on it. It just says face. And why I love this so much, instead of having to throw an entire component of foundation in here, I'm able to have this compact that has a mirror, a pad, and then I can literally put whatever foundation I want in here. And as you can see, I haven't really used it, but you can see my foundation right there. But it's a spongy pad right there. And I just will take this, tap it on there, and just kind of touch up or do whatever I have to do. And then on top, I just kind of have some like, um, what do you call these? Samples from Sephora. This is a little sunscreen sample and then a little foundation sample. I honestly just didn't have much use for them in my little beauty room, so I felt like it would be best to put it in here. And then in this little pink bag, I have just some hair ties, a scrunchie, some bobby pins, and then a hair clip. And then in here, I have a reduce, reuse, recycle, old spoolie from an old mascara bottle. I just really liked the spoolie, so I kept that. And then a little Smashbox uh, travel primer, another, what is this called? Bare Minerals primer as well. And then just some little beauty sponges right here. They're like the velvet ones. And that wraps up the top tier. Now I'm gonna get into the bottom tier that you can't really see. Okay, first I have a little ETC bag from Shein. And in here, I've got a USB-C cord, two micro USB cords, and then an aux cord that has a lightning adapter, and then a little remote control for my iPhone. And I did order some more cords. They haven't come in yet, which is kind of annoying because it's been like a month, but I'm going to be adding more cords in here. Next, I have a super ancient makeup palette. This is very old and expired like the other thing, it is okay to me if this spoils in the car because I've had this for so long. This is from Tarte. This is super duper old, but the mirror in here is amazing and the colors in here are very versatile. So I felt like it was just a good last resort item to have in here and I've loved this a lot. Didn't hit pan on anything, unfortunately. Next, I actually got this little headband. It's a Velcro headband. It's kind of like a terry cloth material. I got it when I got microneedling done and since I already had one in my bathroom, I figured why not have one in here in case I need to do my makeup or something, you never know. Next, I have two of my favorite types of clips of all time, alligator clips. These are also from Shein. They say Tony and Guy. I think I have about 20 of these in my bathroom and then scattered everywhere else because these are truly the best clips to style your hair with. Not like walking away styling, but like actively styling. These are the best clips to use. And then of course you see all the girlies on TikTok kind of clip their hair back for their intro of some kind of rant but that's not why I love them. I love them because they're so, so great to use. Next, I have the rinkiest, dinkiest little sewing kit from Shein as well. Super cheap looking, but you know what? I never had a fashion emergency myself, but I've seen enough to know that it is not a bad idea to have this in your car. As you can see, it comes with quite a bit. Can't complain, love that. Next, I have this little nail kit. Of course, I just can't help but label all my stuff. Just pretty simple. I would say this is not like the most high quality, but it'll get the job done in emergency. We've got a precision nail clipper for like hangnails and stuff, regular nail clipper, scissors, nail file, another pair of cheap dinky tweezers, and then a little scoopula thing, and then a little cuticle pusher backer. Next, I've got this little Dove mini sensitive skin soap. You never know when you're gonna need some soap, so I thought it would be nice to have that in there. Next, I've got some Shout wipe and go wipes. These I have never actually used, but I hear that they're pretty good. And I can definitely tell you that I have needed these so many times when I haven't had them. I eat in my car all the time, so that means I probably spill in my car a lot of the times. I am so, so glad I thought to put these in here because I definitely think that I'm gonna need them in the future. Next, I have probably the most random thing in here, and this is just hair cutting scissors. So this is a weird thing about me. I am obsessed with finding split ends in my hair and cutting them off. And I know that you're not supposed to cut your hair with things that aren't hair cutting scissors, or at least I've been told that. So I thought I would throw these in here. These were actually the hair cutting scissors that I had in my bathroom, but then I ordered a pair from Shein and they didn't come with a little protector like this. So I put those in my bathroom and low key, high key, those kind of stuff. Next, we've got another little sack. So this is like my little tool bag. I'll probably add more things in here with time, but this is all I had from Shein. 
So this I got from Shane. It's that cute little cloud box cutter that you see a lot of influencers use. Super cute, right? This cute little cloud. Literally love it. Next, I have literally Mario and Luigi. Oh my God, so cute. They're just little screwdrivers that I saw on Shein. And so I was like, why the fuck not? Look at them. They're so, so cute. I've got a Phillips head and a flat head. And literally, they look like Mario and Luigi. I love it. And then, of course, they're in a cute little princess peach pouch. All right. With a cloud. Oh my God. You know the little cloud guys on Mario? And then the very... Famous clean girl TikTok hand sanitizer spray. This is not touch land. I did not spend 10, 12, whatever how many dollars it is for one of those hand sanitizers. I did put IPA in here and some people might tell me that putting 70% IPA on your hand is super bad and drying. But guess what? I have lotion in here. So I will just do a little spritz, do my little lotion, do my little cuticle oil if I need to. But I am so in love with this. I love that it's pink. It does have a little silicone cover and the spritzer is pretty good. Let me show you. You saw that? It's pretty good. It does have this kind of like McDonald's toy vibe because it has this on the end. You can take it off if you really want to. It's nostalgic, so I'm keeping it on. Last but not least, oh my God, we're in the last and final item. This is honestly probably the single most greatest item I've ever gotten off of Shein. And that's like quality, price, everything, all included, this right here. So this is a little handheld mirror, and let me tell you why it's amazing. You can't really tell, maybe you can. It is a super high quality mirror, and if you have seen low quality mirrors, you know a high quality mirror when you see one. This is a good one. And to top it off, it came with batteries. Why did it come with batteries? Because it has the brightest light ever. Look at that. And then it just turns off when you close it. Literally obsessed with this. Literally. All right, guys, that wraps up the whole bag. I wish I would have gotten the footage of me making this like down to the online shopping because I was so stoked as I was building it. And when it all fit perfectly in here, I think that made me more excited. And honestly, just a teeny tiny little rant. The reason that I will ever bring big purses is because I start doing shit like this. I start overstuffing it with stuff that's just in case. And then I never really end up needing it because it's all just in case, right? And so why wouldn't I just put something in my car full of the stuff that's just in case? And then I can just bring a small cute little clutch and look like a dainty girl and not have to worry about it because everything else that I need is in my car. Do you get me? Because I feel like that is the ultimate life hack. Only having her phone, her credit card, and her gum in her little bag. And then having everything else she needs in her car. Love it. Anyway, that's everything. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I'm so glad I was able to get another video in so soon. Wasn't expecting it, but I saw this in my car and thought, you know what? Why not? Let me show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end if you did. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and good luck on anything you need luck on. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!